In the early 20th century, Jews were barred from most industries, so they created a new one, Hollywood. Nearly every major studio was founded by first-generation Jewish immigrants. They were working-class people, mostly from vaudeville and the garment industry, who saw an opportunity in cinema, which lacked the anti-Semitism of more established industries. Carl Lemley marketed clothing before starting Universal. Adolf Zucker sold furs before starting Paramount. Shmuel Gelbfish quit selling gloves, changed his name to Samuel Goldwyn, and partnered with Louis B. Mayer and Marcus Lowe to form MGM. The Wansal brothers entertained at fairs with a film projector before changing their name and starting Warner Brothers. In the 1930s, thousands of Jewish directors, writers, actors, and composers in Europe fled Nazism, including Billy Wilder, Otto Preminger, Fred Zinnemann, and Hedy Lamarr, who became icons of Hollywood's golden age. Betty Persky became Lauren Bacall. Bernard Schwartz became Tony Curtis. Isher Danielovich became Kirk Douglas. Melvin Kaminsky became Mel Brooks. Jerome Silberman became Gene Wilder. The outsider perspective and the desire to assimilate gave Jews a unique understanding of mass American tastes. Through their storytelling, they built a new American art form from the ground up that came to define pop culture. Though Jews pioneered Hollywood, its diversity has expanded greatly in the centuries since, and like other fields where Jews are disproportionately represented, Jews don't control Hollywood. They're simply good at making movies. Follow for Jewish Facts